Okay, this pediatric dosage calculation question is about Zantac. Uh, the order is 10 milligrams uh, by mouth BID for a 10 pound three month old infant with GERD. Um, the order or the label says 15 milligrams per ml. The dosage range is four to 10 milligrams per kilogram per day divided twice daily. And the question is, you know, does this fit in the range? So, um, so we have starting out with my, te oops, can't, you can't see that on the screen. We have 10 milligrams BID um, for my 10 pounder, and I need to divide by 2.2, and that's gonna be 4.545454. Um, so you can round that to the nearest tenth, so 4.5 kilograms. Um, and then I wanna know um, if it fits within the de dosage range of 4 to 10, so I have 4 to 10 milligram per kilogram. And I'm going to multiply by patient's weight. So 4 times 4.5 is 20.454545. So I'm going to say 20.5 milligrams, and then 10, 10 times 4.5 is 45 milligrams. Of course, I probably didn't need to put that in the calculator, but that's okay. And now it does say um, that's per day, um, and so this is not per dose, and that's something that's um, unique and different. you got to pay attention to make sure... Um, that it's what it's asking is if the range is per day or per dose. Um, so this is saying four to 10 milligrams per day divided twice daily. So what I would do then is I would take these numbers and I would divide by two to get my individual dosage range. So 20.5 divided by two is this actually comes out to being uh, 10.25 per dose. 10.25 milligrams per dose, and then 45 divided by two will be 22.5 milligrams per dose. So here's the thing. This says 10 milligrams is the order twice daily, and then this says 10.25. So um, this does not fit with inside the range. And um, so you probably need to consult the physician or the, you know, the ordering doctor to find out uh, what to do with this. Um, my guess is that you would hold the medication um, because you, uh, the 10.25, um, your, your dose is below the range. And what below the range might mean is that it's ineffective at that dose. Um, but I mean, and then you can also reason it's like, well, it's close enough. Um, but when we're talking about pediatrics, I don't know that close enough, cap, uh, you know, uh, does the trick um, or counts or is good enough to say. Um, so just, again, verify um, with your um, lab instructor or your um, instructor about, you know, what it means if it falls above or below the range. Do you hold the medication? And then what do you do from there? Um, but we can still calculate the milliliters of this. So I would take the 10 milligrams that was ordered times the uh, one milliliter or the 15 milligrams per milliliter and we can cross those out and we are left with uh, 10 divided by 15. We get 0 0.666666. So 0 0.67 milliliters would be um, the dose uh, for the Zantac.